Hello folks, Junkie Rock 13 here. Everything vaping related, Junkie Rock 13. My real name is Ross Sanders, <clears throat> and today we're going to be taking a look at a rebuildable dripping atomizer known as the IGO L, or the IGO L. Um, this is a rebuildable silica dripping atomizer um, made in China and it is made all of stainless steel a simple but yet effective dripping atomizer I'm gonna take a close look at it see how I wrap my coil um, how I wrap one of my coils in the I go out and at the end of this video we have another giveaway um, stay tuned and let's take a close look at it. Let's get right to it. Alrighty, folks, here is the close up of the IGO L. Okay, first off, let me just uh, show you the little package that came with this. Um, there is a couple extra O-rings in there, an extra screw. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it, but there is a little piece of what looks to be like nichrome or canthal. It's probably nichrome and a small little section of silica to get you started making your first wick if you don't have no silica or wire and an extra screw in the the extra o-rings is nice also so there's a little package that comes with the yeah, go l rebuildable dripping atomizer first the top cap is all solid stainless steel 510 drip tip connection there nice and smooth um, nice weight to this not light like a lot of aluminum ones the air hole is very tiny in my opinion we have two little ridges right there and then a very large um, capacity of the dripping atomizer okay <clears throat> now where the posts are there are just a positive and negative a not so deep drip well or should I say well juice well okay there are two o-rings very thin o-rings that fit into those little grooves on there. A little lip right there. 510 connection. And I believe there is silicone insulator in that 510 connection for your positive post right there. A solid little device. Uh, the positive post, you can see the insulator down there at the base there is that silicone I believe Let me just actually it seems to be a little bit harder it might be a Delrin plastic right there then you have your negative post right over here close to the wall okay so let me just show you how I wrap a coil for the IGO L I'm going to pull the device off to the side, bring in a piece of two millimeter um, silica. This is that echo wool, or let me just get a piece of 30 gauge canthal here. I have a section of 30 gauge canthal. All right. Now, what I usually do is 
similar to the way I do the phoenixes. Um, I mean, you can as simple just wrap it right around one piece here, or just wrap like this, like I do with this one. And just take my 30 gauge canthal and start wrapping. I usually give it around three wraps. Actually, we're gonna go with four wraps on this one today. Okay. And then these posts, you'll notice, do not have any holes. So the way you will have to do this is to wrap it around. <clears throat> so the way that I'm gonna do this is whoop, like this. Wrap it around the one. I'm not going to tighten it down yet. And the other one. Wrap around the other. Okay. Grab my screwdriver here. And. Sure, it's nice and tight. And there you go. On that one. And there you go on that one. Once you get these nice and tight, you can give them a little turn. And they twist off. Make sure this one's tight all the way. And there you go. So now what I'm going to do is actually clip this off a little bit. I don't even have my scissors here. I just have my wire cutters. just so I can wrap a little bit in there. And what I do is usually pull that over and leave it in like that. Okay, so you can see it down in there. And then when you drip, it catches that. So you actually, let me just bring that off. Okay. So when you line up your air hole here, you want to line up your air hole with the coil right there. So your air hole right here and line it right up like that. Okay. And that's it. Grab your drip tip. Got a little goofy one right now. And <laughs> got little silica fibers there. And there's your Igolo. So let's see how it vapes and see what I think about it. Okay, folks, so there you have it. Here's the um, simple close up of the Igolo. Um, like I said earlier, it is yet yeah, a simple device, but um, pretty effective if you like rebuildables and you're into dripping. Um, it is inexpensive. Right now they're under $10 at a lot of places. And for that price, they are a steal. 
if you are a person that would like to try a rebuildable, I totally suggest this to be, if not your first, one of your first devices. It's easy um, to wrap a coil. There's positive and negative posts, some silica, wrap some cans all around it. Very simple, very easy. And it gives you a quality vape. <clears throat> right now, this is um, set at 1.1 ohms. And I have it on the GG clone, or the uh, China GG, actually, is the name of it. Um, it is all stainless steel, so it is a quality device. It's, it's, you know, there are other devices that are of similarity um, that sell for $100 that are almost the same exact device. I'm not comparing this one to any of the other devices because I love a lot of high-end devices. I really do. But for the price, this thing is a steal because it works just as good. Um, right now, I'm using the standard cap or the standard air hole. Um, I have one that I did board out to one sixteenth of an inch. Um, the regular one, I believe it's just a millimeter. So let's take a vape on it and tell you what I think about it. So right now I am vaping some red, white, and blue from High Desert Vapes. It's a 50, 50, 18 milligram juice. Um, let's see what I got. Of the vapor, the throat hit is great. Um, vapor production is great. Flavor is what a dripping silica rebuildable atomizer should taste like. Um, in my opinion, the air hole is a little tight, but myself, I like an airier draw. With an airier draw, I feel like I get more vapor, more flavor. Um, a few people agree with me, a few people like the tighter draw, so um, I'm going to show you how it is with the um, 1 16th air hole. <clears throat> See, that's more of my style. Um, I think the vapor production might be the same now that I'm looking at it. Um, most of the time it feels and it tastes a little bit better when it's a little bit airier for me. Now I know a lot of people have different tastes, different palates, different um, ways they like to vape. This is just the style that I like to vape. <clears throat> quality vape. Um, I can put like 20 drops of juice on a dry wicking coil and that's a lot. It has a nice drip well. Um, not very deep but it's wide so um, the way that I have my wick up here with the little loop it tends to hold about four or five more drops more than if I just had a little piece of wick 
across the coils. And you'll get better vapor if you have the air hole on the top cap as close right in front of the coil. So the air, when you're pulling it in through the air hole, hits directly, if not a little bit above or a little bit below the wick, or excuse me, the coil. <clears throat> Let me take one more vape. Great vape, it really is. So, yeah, I go well. Um, in my opinion, for a two post rebuildable atomizer, it really is one of the uh, better devices on the market. Um, I know there's Phoenix clones and there's the uh, little Dream Addy, and they work great too. But this one, in my opinion, with the quality of the material that they used for it, it's a great device. The one complaint that I do have is the cap comes on and off rather easy. Um, it's just the little red O-rings, the two little red O-rings that they have on there um, seem to get a little slippery with the juice that comes on and it's very easy to come on and off. That would be the only complaint that I have of the I go well. But it is a quality dripping atomizer, pretty buildable. <coughs> so, if you want to check them out, there are a lot of vendors. Um, I did purchase these through a co-op a long time ago, um, and I'm just getting around to do the video on it now. But a lot of vendors do have them in stock. Um, if I try one out, pick one up at less than ten bucks, or right around ten bucks. But that's all I have for this video. Um, that review. I do have an extra um, I go well. Let me pick it up right here. Wherever it is. I know it's on this little mess of, mess of a desk I do have. So here's one right here. Um, it could be yours. Do a little simple giveaway. Uh, I'm just going to do this one for a week. I usually do them for two weeks, but I'm gonna run this one for one week. So one week from tonight, I'll do the drawing. Uh, it's a brand new I go well. I'll throw in a little bit of silica and a little canthal to get you started. And it also comes with the replaceable O-rings. So if you need to replace the O-rings and an extra screw that has in that little package. But this one could be yours. Um, what you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment on this video. And you're entered into the drawing. And I will randomize the names and I will send it out to the lucky winner. The winner will have to get in contact with me within two weeks of the date that I draw. It might not be exactly on the day that I say the drawing is over it might be a few days even a week after that so don't hound me and say when are you going to draw the names when are you going to draw the names i will get to it and i will send it out to every to the winner <coughs> excuse me it must be 18 years old to enter and i will send it to anywhere in the world if you're in egypt and you win i will send it to you uh, it might take a little bit longer but it will get to you or at least I'll, I'll, say, I'll, I'll send it to you. I hope it gets to you. Um, 18 years old to enter. Subscribe to the video and comment on the video. Or subscribe to my channel, comment on the video. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate all of you watching. Um, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this. <coughs> Thank you all. Be kind to one another and keep on vaping. Take care.